Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, let us see how to solve some polynomial equations. Here are four examples. You can always pause the video, copy these questions, solve, and then look into my suggestions. x cubed minus 4x squared minus 4x equals to 0. x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x equals to 0. x to the power of 4 minus 16 equals to 0. And 6x to the power of 4 minus x squared minus 12 equal to 0. Well, we'll solve in the domain of real numbers. Okay, so let's begin with the very first one, which is uh, x cubed minus 4x squared minus 45x equal to 0. We can take x common. So if I factor x, I get quadratic equation x squared minus 4x minus 45 equal to 0. Now, applying sum and product, we are looking for a product of two numbers to be minus 45 and sum of two numbers as minus 4. So the numbers could be 9 and 5, right? So we could use minus 9 and 5. So the factoring we get x minus 9 times x plus 5 equal to 0. Now this equation will give us three solutions. Each factor can be equated to 0 to get the three solutions. First being x equals to 0, then x equal to 9, and then we have x equal to minus 5, right? So that is how we can solve the first equation. Now let's take up part B, which is quartic equation x to the power of 4 minus 2x cubed minus x squared plus 2x. Now in this case, we can do group factoring. So making these two groups, from the first two terms, I can take x cubed common, right? So we get x minus 2. From the next two terms, we could take minus x common. So that will also give me a factor of x minus 2 equal to 0. Now x minus 2 is a common factor. So you get x cubed minus x equal to 0. Now from x cubed minus x, we can factor out x. I could have factored x initially also. Okay, so once you factor x, you get x squared minus 1 equal to 0. Now x squared minus 1 can be factored. It's difference of squares. So what we get here is x plus 1 times x minus 1 equal to 0. So that gives you four real solutions. One being x equals to 0. The other one x equals to 2. Then we have x equals to plus and minus 1. Correct? Now let's look into the third equation, which is difference of squares, kind of. Now you see, we have x to the power of, let me write down here, and we have x to the power of 4 minus 16. I go write this as x square whole square minus 4 square, correct? So now I could use difference of squares. So what we get here is x square plus 4 times x squared minus 4 equal to 0. Now x squared plus 4 in the domain of real numbers cannot be factored. So we'll just write it as such. But we could factor x squared minus 4 again with difference of squares. We get x plus 2 times x minus 2 equal to 0. So in the domain of real numbers we get two solutions x equals to plus minus 2. Okay. Now, the last question here is 6x to the power of 4 minus x squared minus 12. In this quadratic equation, you can make a substitution. Let's say n is equal to x squared. In that case, n squared will be equal to x to the power of 4. 
So x to the power of 4, I'll replace with n square. So we get the equation as 6n square minus n minus 12 equal to 0. Now let's factor this. We're looking for product of 72, right? So in this case, we are looking for product of two numbers, let's say p times q as minus 72 and sum of the two numbers is minus 1. So that could be 8 times 9, right? So minus 9 and 8 will be the numbers which can help us. So let's write down this equation as 6n square. Instead of minus n, I'll write minus 8, 9, 9n plus 8n minus 12 equal to 0. Now we can do group factory. Taking 3n common, we get 2n minus 3 plus we can take 4 common here, right? We can take 4 common, so we get 2n minus 3. 4 times 3 is 12. Now 2n minus 3 is common and we get 3n plus 4 equal to 0. So from here, we get solution as we can equate 2n minus 3 equal to 0. That gives us n equals to 3 over 2. The other solution is Three n plus four equals to zero. That gives us n equals to minus four over three. Now remember the substitution which we have made. We have written n square. I mean n as x square. Now clearly x square. So we are writing here x square equals to minus four over three. That is not valid. Correct. Square is always positive. We're talking about x belongings to real numbers. So that is not valid. So this is a valid answer. So we could write here x square equals to 3 over 2. So that is a valid answer. So we do have one valid answer, which is x square equals to 3 over 2. And therefore, x will be equal to square root of 3 over 2 with plus and minus sign. So that becomes the solution for the given equation. So I hope that helps you to understand how to solve polynomial equations with the factoring techniques which we learned for quadratic equation. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.